Mark my words, a veteran is not going to win the Royal Rumble this year. Plato Wrestling. Plato Wrestling. I got to talk about this next premium live event, the Royal Rumble. Obviously, one of the more exciting things that's going to take place in the WWE within the next few months as we inch closer to WrestleMania. And the big question on everybody's mind, who's going to win the Royal Rumble? Who's gonna be the person to be the last guy in the ring without being thrown over to the top rope? Who's gonna be the person that wins that war of attrition? There's a lot of different people could win. There's a lot of different people that are gonna be eliminated. Again, if I had to predict who would win, I think Solo Sokoa is going to win. People might look at me like I have four heads. I think it makes the most sense with regard to the story. This is an up and coming wrestler who is young. He's in his 20s. He has a very bright future ahead of him. I think anybody who wins is going to be somebody who is young and, you know, that they believe in for the near future and beyond. Just somebody who can produce at a high level for years to come. That's not CM Punk. That's not one of the veterans. A veteran is not going to win the Royal Rumble this year. Absolutely not going to happen. Veteran meaning anybody having spent over five years in the WWE, not going to be one of those folks. It's going to be one of the newer guys. And so I really think it's going to be solo. I had questioned myself and my own predictions uh, when I had considered Cody Rhodes being my choice. For him to win it twice in a row would be a pretty amazing feat. I don't think he's going to do it. I think Solo Sokoa is going to win the Royal Rumble in 2024. That being said, there's also a lot of other young folks that can do a really good job and end up winning. I don't know. That's what's really awesome about this premium live event is how unpredictable it is. And it's always a really interesting time of year. It's always the start of the year, January, that this happens, that this event happens. I would love to see Solo win. I would love to see what the writers would be able to do. Having Roman Reigns as the tribal chief and Solo Sokoa obviously winning the Royal Rumble, what does that mean for their relationship? Whether if it's 30 people, whether if it's 40 people, that's what it was in 2011. I am very curious to see who's going to win. I really, I think Solo Sokoa will win the 2024 Royal Rumble. And for what it's worth, I do think it makes the most sense, especially now that we're only a few months away from WrestleMania, to for both the men and the women to make it somebody who has a future in this company, a real tangible future. Because for it to be a veteran, again, I mean, it's the same old, same old. It's not something that people could really attach to. Those are my thoughts on the Royal Rumble. But tell me what you think. Tell me if you agree. Could any of you see Solo Sokoa winning the Royal Rumble this year? Let me know. If not, tell me why. Because I really believe he has the potential to do so. Even if the stories conflict with him and his cousin, Roman Reigns. Who says no? Who says no? I think it would be very interesting to have Solo win. I am curious, you know, who else could be on the docket who can win? CM Punk is not going to win. 